Hello, good morning. This is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts and today I thought I'd do something a bit different um, and uh, try to have um, you know a series of these YouTube videos about faction fighting because a big part of Blackthorn history is how it became popular um, by being used by, by faction fighters. Like we all know about the Blackthorn walking stick. But I thought it would be good to kind of um, educate people as well about the history of it and about how it uh, was was uh, connected to the, um, the the faction fighting. So today I'll just give a very brief in introduction into faction fighting and then I'll do like a, a series of videos over the next few months um, just going through various aspects of it. You can kind of drop in and drop out. Um, so anyway, like faction fighting were was a kind of strange phenomenon, you could say, which um, which kind of happened more in the uh, the eighteenth uh, hundreds, like the nineteenth century in Ireland. Um, its origin has kind of uh, been attributed to a place in uh, County Tipperary, probably in eighteen oh five. So the earliest that they can prove is eighteen oh five, but. You know, there, there, you know, there is speculation that it did start earlier than that. But anyway, it started in 1805 in County Tipperary and literally it spread like wildfire uh, throughout Munster and Leinster. And soon um, factions were, were fighting each other in almost every county um, except the, the northeast of the, 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 the country. It was mostly, um, you know, uh, Munster and spread to a bit of South Leinster and into to most counties. Um, but what, like, let's kind of just go what, what a faction is. Um, a faction, as like would be described in, in Irish factions, would be, um, say, like an army of, of country people. Um, hundreds, even thousands were reported and they'd usually be armed with literally sticks and stones. Um, although on occasion, you know, if you had one, you know, it was a fight. If someone had a gun or a sword, they're going to bring that to a faction fight as well. So it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a fight. So there was no rules. People would bring, bring what they want into it. Um, the fights themselves, they were between families, mostly, um, between clans or seps namesakes, baronies, parishes, be between kind of local people, families who didn't disagree with, um, local areas. You know, it's 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 kind of broad of, of kind of what they would, would um would be about and we can kind of look into the motives in another video. Um but mainly they were fought for the sheer love of fighting. Um their battlefields of where they used to fight were were fair green, so most towns and villages would have a fair where they'd be buying and selling cows or sheep or, or something like that or horses and everyone would go have a few drinks and you know that would, would be a kind of um you know popular place for having a fight and um, markets as well, um race courses, you know, even the the, the towns and streets of villages like where my shop is based here in Kalorglan, literally you walk 12 seconds and you find an area of where the uh, the faction fights used to happen here in my, my hometown. Um, the factions as well, they used to give themselves, you know, quite, you know, different names and they'd, all, they'd always have like a group name that they go, go for as well. Um, you know, but bear in mind as well, like many people were, were killed and scored were wounded in these like notorious fights. So, you know, they, it, it, they're very difficult kind of to go through in that, you know, even though they were vicious, bloodthirsty and brutal, people did enjoy it and they kept doing it and it became a family tradition and it became accepted and it grew and it grew as a, as a like, you could say almost like a sport. Uh, I'll give you some of the main names of, of some of the, uh, the, the factions here that I've, I've read down, I wrote down. Uh, you know, and I can, I can go through these in, in time, but here are some of the names, like they all had like kind of, some had cooler names than others, you could say. Uh, you had the Caravats, the Shanavests. Um, you had the three-year-olds and the four-year-olds. Doesn't really sound too intimidating, does it? Um, you had the Coolines. You had the Lawler Black, the Mulvahills, uh, the Kivas, the Graces, the Gates. Um, here's a name for you. Pudding Lane Boys. Ooh, you'd better be in trouble if the Pudding Lane Boys are getting you. Gulag Boys, Poulines, the Gows, the Resultis, 
the Gerda clocks, black hens. <laughs> yeah, here come the black hens, like you know. Uh, where here are, I'll read a few more names to you. The Gows. Oh yeah, I said that one. Uh the black hens. Yeah, the magpies. So, you know, they obviously like birds back in the day. Uh Bootishies, the the bog boys and the, the tubbers. So, you know, like most, most factions or groups, they like to give themselves some names so they can kind of identify themselves. So again, look, you know, here is just a very brief introduction into into faction fighting. And, uh, you know, I'll do a series of videos. I won't make them too long, probably about four or five minutes each one, just to hold your attention. And uh, if you like these videos, I'll, I'll make more going into depth about the various factions, the various areas, some, some nice funny stories that I heard along the way. And, uh, you know, as always, thank you for watching, supporting my channel. And if you want one of these bad boys for yourself, just go to my website, www.mccaffreyscrafts.com. Okay, thank you for watching.